advanced hydrogen I'm running for the first time a 21 plate 6x6 six six. this time the spacing is not my usual um, 1 8th I'm doing 1 16th and I'm going with the advice from some fellow youtubers who suggested running quarter inch input on the bottom and a 3 8 exhaust so that's what I've done and uh, I have an adapter because my bubbler is 3 8 and uh, this cell has only been running it hasn't even been five minutes this thing is absolutely bone cold I mean it's cold it's below body temperature just a hair warmer than the table absolutely cold okay this is what we're looking at we're looking at 11.17 volts and I've got uh, 17 just a hair under 18 amps okay Ran, being run off of a, a power supply that I got out of a Dell server I did some mods to get it to work I got a little switch on it turns it on and off it's kinda cool watch this this is cool you can actually see this is a, a very large mason jar I always use these huge mason jars look at the uh, the gas coming out of the top do you see it it's a bone cold cell absolutely cold hasn't even been on five minutes maybe it's five minutes now look at this output this output is at 18 amps at 11.14 volts direct current this hose is cold it is not warm at all the cell is so not even warm it's like a little bit below room temperature um, this is a 116 place spacing uh, 21 plates I've got three negatives two positives and from the from a cold start look at the output that's pretty cool um, I'm thinking the efficiency on this cell is going to be pretty high once I break it in I'm going to run it for a few days um, I'll drop the amperage actually and look at that look at the gas output see it and that's awesome and it, uh, that's not bad output either as far as the bubbles are concerned see that there you go brand new cell I will do MMW calculations on this one and see if uh, my efficiency is up as high as what I've heard of other youtubers getting it'd be awesome if I can get a 5.5 out of this um, that'd be great but we'll see you know um, I'm gonna be very honest I'll have a thermocoupler on it uh, I, I put them on the metal on the outside and I'll have the uh, the digital amp gauge and I'll have the voltmeter go in and uh, then we'll do it out of my uh, one liter per minute bottle that I used a measuring cup to uh, you know make it it's exactly one liter um, you know not 900 milliliters or something like that this is exactly one liter at that black line and uh, this actually works pretty cool this, this setup right here so there you go, uh, advanced hydrogen with another cell. Um, this one is for efficiency testing.